Welcome to Jumpstart. Please type your name in the box. Or, if you've been here before, just click your name. Welcome back. Here you can select the first character to give you help as you play. Please pick me! I can't wait to do stuff and help you tackle those pesty problems. You'll see fascinating things in the world if you pick me. My nature explorations will help you understand everything. You'd be wise to pick me. I love words. And you will too, as we read and talk our way through problems. Choose me. My pictures will help you through the most challenging problems. The most logical choice of an all-star is me. My brain teasers will help you understand problems. If you pick me, my friends and I will help you through the tough spots. If you pick me, we'll play my drum and sing songs to work through the tough spots. Choose one of us to give you help while you're playing games. Then, click the check mark button. Uh, All-Star Matchup Quiz! All-Star Matchup Quiz! <laughs> I love parties, don't you? If you could invite anyone to your party, who would it be? Select an answer or tool, then click on me to go to the next quest. Someone with a... I love parties, don't you? If you could invite anyone to your party, who would it be? I love... Someone with a big collection... I love... Someone with... I love... Click on me to... <laughs> Imagine you could make any kind of machine you wanted. What would you make? A machine that could change the color of anything in the world. A machine that makes you stronger and faster. A machine that cleans up the dirty air and litter people leave behind. A machine that you can wear that lets you talk to all your friends anytime, no matter where they are. A machine that can hold all the stories in the world. A machine that can hold all the songs in the world. A machine that can build anything you want. A machine that can hold all the stories in the world. I love to read everything. Books, magazines, even cereal boxes. What is your favorite thing to read? Comic books. Action adventure stories. Nature books and magazines. Stories about people. Chapter books. Sheet music while you play an instrument. Mysteries. Comic books. <laughs> if you had to learn about and remember all the planets in the solar system, what would help you most? To see pictures of them. To act out a play about them. To compare the other planets to Earth and see how they differ. To talk about them with others. To read and take notes about them. To make a song about them to find out how they work and what they're made of. To find out how they work and what they're made of. Let's pretend we're going on a camping trip and each of us has a job to do. What would you most like to do? Read the map and tell us where to go. Set up the tent and build the campfire. Track animals and point out the poisonous plants along the way. Be the leader of the group. Tell us stories around the campfire. Sing us songs around the campfire. Figure out how much food and stuff we need to bring along. Sing us songs around the campfire. If you could be silly without getting into trouble, what would you do? Paint the outside of your house? Interrupt class with a group of dancing musicians who sing a song? Ride your bike or skateboard through a shopping mall? Fill your school with every kind of frog there is in the world? Have everyone at your school over for a big party at your house? Make up a news story and have it printed in the newspaper? Interrupt class with a group of dancing musicians who sing a song? Change how much everything costs in the world? Interrupt class with a group of dancing musicians who sing a song? <laughs> Last question. You need to show a friend how to do something. What would you show them? How to get from their house to your house. How to play a sport or do a dance. How to take care of a pet. How to convince someone to do something. How to write a good story.
how to sing a song or play an instrument, how to do a science experiment, how to do a science experiment. Well, you matched up with more than one character, so you can take your pick. I'll let them tell you a little about what they like to do. If you like logic puzzles, then let's hop to it! I learn best through music, don't you? Choose one of us to give you help while you're playing games. Then, click the checkmark button. Let's go! Just click the checkmark button to start. You try to catch me, Jones! <gasps> Egads! That dastardly Dr. O has struck again! I'd better get to Spy HQ right away! Well, hello, CJ. I'm glad we were able to track you down. There's been a spot of trouble in Jumpstartville. I told the president I'd have our top man on the job. When he wasn't available, I called you. I'm honored that you called me, Frankie. I'm always happy to serve the Jumpstart Intelligence Agency. It seems that Dr. O, that slippery snail, has struck again. This time, he's drawn mustaches all over Mount Jumpmore. Agent Hopsalot has been in his lab, inventing gadgets that will fix whatever nastiness Dr. O cooks up. I've invented something I call the Soapy Shooter. Once all the gadget pieces are assembled, they activate the shooter and spray sunsy water all over Mount Jumpmore. No mess, no fuss. But, as luck would have it, the pieces he needs are scattered across the globe. I need you to meet our agents on the scene, bring the pieces back here, build the gadget, and fix this mess. Well, surely those agents could just mail us the pieces. This dastardly deed has Dr. O's trail of slime all over it. Come, Edison, my faithful companion. No matter how long it takes or how dangerous our mission may be, we won't sleep until we've set everything to rights here in Jumpstartville. Yes, sir. Now, the map here shows all the locations where you must go to meet your contact and find the first gadget piece. Click on any of these locations and off you go. Good luck, Pond. some carrot juice? Refreshment is just a few clicks away. Assemble the gadget pieces in my toolbox so you can fire the electric beam and juice up my carrot juicer. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. As soon as you put all the pieces together, click on the go button. If all the pieces are in the correct position, the gadget should start working. <laughs> Let's hop to it! Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. So many inventions and so we'll click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Welcome to Moscow, Agent CJ Bond. I am Agent Lucianova, and I am your contact here. Russia is such a huge country that part of it is on the European continent, while the other part is on the Asian continent. While you are here, you should take the time to get to know more about it. But of course, you came for a gadget piece, and you shall receive it. But first, you must play a game of strategy against me to prove your worthiness. If you win, you will get your gadget piece. Thank you. 
This is a brain teaser. But I studied this kind of game in spy school. We should do just fine. Remember now, we only need to get one of our pieces across the board before Lucianova does the same with hers. Then the gadget piece is ours. Click on the piece you want to move and then click on the square you want to move to. The object of the game is to get one of our pieces all the way across to the other side of the board. You can't move matching pieces next to each other on the board. Use your pieces to block your opponent's pieces that match it. Your pieces will only move diagonally on the same color square. The progress meter will tell you how many games you have won. When the progress meter is full, you have won your gadget piece. has sweet flavor, much like the piroshkis of which I have grown so fond. That move came out of nowhere. Still, I won't accept defeat. We must keep trying until we win. has sweet flavor, much like the piroshkis of which I have grown so fond. This is more difficult than I had imagined, but I think we've got a feel for it now. Let's try again. has sweet flavor, much like the piroshkis of which I have grown so fond. That move came out of nowhere. Still, I won't accept defeat. We must keep trying until we win. We must play again! There is too much at stake to accept defeat. While we wait, the world goes on around us! Big! 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 <laughs> 
We made it across! Now Agent Lucianova can give us our gadget piece. You have a very nimble mind. Here is your gadget piece. Click the level you want and then click the check mark to return to the game. If the brightly colored domes of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow are shaped like onions. Russia has 11 time zones. When it is noon at one end of the country, it is nearly midnight at the other. Lenin and his party overthrew the Romanovs, the rulers of Russia, for more than 300 years. The Russians were the first to put a man-made satellite in space. I wouldn't give for a nice warm bowl of borscht right about now. G'day mates, welcome to the Outback. My name's Brucey and I'm here to help you retrieve a gadget piece. But before I give it to you, you've got to help me recover some money. I've lost a box of it somewhere around five miles east of here. Click on CJ's Havercraft to enter the game. As you drive, you have to pick up fuel to keep going. The car only takes a special kind of fuel, but don't worry, the correct fuel cans will be marked. Use the arrow keys to move the car towards the correct fuel cans and away from the ones we want to avoid. When you've found my missing box of mail, bring it back to me and I'll give you a gadget piece. While you're here, I want you to explore my country. Click on something to uncover the exotic life forms that abound in the outback. Have a go, you mugs. The red kangaroo is the world's largest marsupial, an animal that carries its young in a pouch. Koalas hardly ever drink water. They get all the water they need from the eucalyptus leaves they eat. The kookaburra is an Australian bird whose call sounds like laughter. Camels brought in from the Middle East roam the outback, Australia's hot interior. your arrow keys up, down, left, and right to drive over the correct answers and avoid the incorrect answers. Use your spacebar to activate the hovercraft sonic wave and see the answers in the cell and to break apart the rocks, trees, and shrubs. If you accidentally pick up a wrong answer or hit a tree or rock, we will lose fuel and time. Aim the car toward the fuel cans that have a consonant blend with the letter S, like SL, slime. Or ST Stone. Rough riding. Refrigerator. We're on our way. Got it. We're in high gear. I 
just hope we get there before the post office clo- Yes! Aim the car toward the fuel cans that have a consonant blend with the letter R, like PR, prime, That's the stop or TR, trap. toward the fuel cans that have a consonant blend with the letter L, like PL, plume, or CL, clown. Prince. Peel out. We're on our way. Toward the fuel cans We're that on have our a way. consonant blend with the letter L, like PL, bloom, or CL, clown. Green. These outback roads are tough on top. Peel out! Aim the car toward the fuel cans that have a consonant blend with the letter S. Like S. We're really moving! Slime, or S T stone. Uh-oh! Wrong way! Yes! Give it the gas! We're burning rubber! We're really moving! I just hope we get there! We're in high gear! Aim the car toward the fuel cans with words that have consonant blends, such as dir and fur. Top. Look out! I just hope we get there before the post office closes! Hmm, take a look at this. If C plus H equals CH, then what does S plus H equal? That's right! Often when you see H with other letters like T, W, P, S, or C, you'll hear a new sound from them. Thanks for playing! Aim the car toward the fuel cans with words that have consonant blends, such as dir and fur. Rough riding! Drat! 
all that low-octane fuel really hurt our engine. Let's try again, and make sure we only use the high-quality gas. Right, the other posties here have lost lots more mail. I'll give you another gadget piece if you can find it too. Click on the hovercraft if you'd like to help me again. We'd better move quickly. The hovercraft is full of gas and ready to go. Remember, we need to drive carefully and only pick up the correct fuel cans. Steer the car over one-syllable words. Peel out! These outback roads are tough on top. That's the stuff! We're on our way! Do they drive on the right or the left side of the road here? the car over one syllable word. That's the stuff! Peel out! Steer the car over one syllable words. Got it! Hide! Hide! Got it! We're burning rubber! Steer the car over one syllable words! the stuff? We're on our way! Steer the car over one syllable words. Peel out! Fill her up! Do they drive on the right or the left side of the road here? We're on our way! We're on our way! I just hope we get... Yes! Give it the gas! Steer the car over one-syllable words. We're really moving! Syllable words. Yes, give it the gas. We're burning rubber.
steer the That's car the over one-syllable words. Fill her up! Steer the car over one-syllable words. We're on our way! the stuff? Fill her up! These outback roads are tough on tires! That's the stuff! I can't believe we made it here in one piece! You kicked up your end of the bargain, so I'll deliver mine. Here you go. Welcome to Antarctica, or as I like to call it, the end of the world. I'm Dr. Lucicle. Around here, things happen at a glacier's pace. Uh, it's cold and you might want to avoid frostbite, but as long as you're moving, you should be okay. As you can probably imagine, it's hard not to get sick down here. I've been seeing dozens of penguin patients every day. I'd see even more if they could reach me, but many of them are stuck on icebergs. I need you to build a bridge so that the stranded penguins can come in for checkups. Around here, they say, if you don't like the weather, just wait until the next catastrophic climate change. Penguin humor, what do you expect? Stilt buildings are common in Antarctica because they can be easily moved. At the South Pole, the sun sometimes shines day and night. At other times, it's dark for 24 hours. Stilt buildings are common in Antarctica at minus 126 degrees Fahrenheit. Antarctica, or the South Pole, is the coldest place on Earth. With the aid of sled dogs, Roald Amundsen and his team were the first to reach the South Pole in December 1911. The only way to get our gadget piece is to build a bridge to that iceberg. The words on the floating ice blocks can be used to let us know what order they're supposed to be in. Put these Roman numerals in the correct order. While those penguins see the doctor, we still need to rescue two more groups. Put the pictures of this tree in order. Whoa, let's back up. Where does that block of ice belong? We're almost there! As soon as we rescue this last batch of sickly penguins, we'll have our gadget piece. Put these words in alphabetical order. Heavy 
lifting made this successful mission even more satisfying. I'm so happy. Now the penguins won't keep me up all night with their hacking and coughing. Welcome to Tanzania, CJ and Edison. I am Lucicia. I am your contact here in the Serengeti. You will not believe the incredible variety of wildlife to be found here in Africa. You cannot leave without taking a look around to observe them in their native habitat. Click on something if you want me to tell you about it. The gadget piece is the real reason for your visit, I know. But you must help me first. At the base of Mount Kilimanjaro, there are caves in which I have found words and pictures carved on the walls. I've managed to decode the writing, but I haven't been able to make the pictures match the writing. If you help me, I will give you a gadget piece. Every year, nearly two million wildebeests migrate across Africa's Serengeti Plain and through the mighty Mara River. In 218 BC, the African general Hannibal used battle elephants to defeat Roman troops. A lioness, or a female lion, will usually remain in the same pride for life. Male lions, on the other hand, are driven out when they are between two and four years old to find new prides. The world's largest diamond, weighing more than one and one quarter pounds, was discovered in Africa. Let's see what we have here. Using my decoder, I can easily make out the text. But we need to arrange the stickers on the easel so that they show what happens in the story. Click on the stickers to move them into place on the easel. Read the story to find out where to place each picture. Click on the picture, drag it to the easel, and then click again to place it. For crying out loud, CJ. At the rate we're moving, we'll be here for the rainy season. I don't know how much longer me light can hold out. For pity's sake, do something. Pot. Arrowhead. Necklace. Click on any word if you would like me to read it aloud. The Old Prospector When you've finished placing all the pieces, click on the Done button. A messenger will take these stories back to headquarters for Frankie to examine for clues. Arrow necklace, necklace. Arrowhead, pot, pot, then he d pot. Arrowhead. Pot. Necklace. Pot. Then he dug next to a big cactus and found a broken pot. 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 Something's not right. Try moving those pictures around again. The old prospector was looking for gold. In Indian country, he found an arrowhead beside a stream. Then he dug next to a big cactus and found a broken pot. Finally, he got lucky. He dug near a bush and found a gold necklace. Did it once belong to an Indian princess? Pot. Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. The progress meter will tell you how many games you have won. When the progress meter is full, 
You have won your gadget piece. Chris went on a treasure hunt. First, he was asked to find something that holds water. Next, he had to look for a musical instrument. Finally, he had to bring back something a woman would wear. Chris rushed to find everything and be the one to win a prize. Water. Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. Rob was walking in the woods when he heard a rustling sound. He stopped in his tracks to listen. It was a bear for sure. He hid and watched what the bear would do. It was after a hive full of honey. The bear swatted the hive with his big paws until it came tumbling down. Bear! Rustling! Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement! Read the story to find Julie went diving for seashells. She spotted a pretty spiral shell to the right of a big rock. On the other side of the rock was a nice piece of coral. Julie kept on looking for things to collect. She was surprised to see a rusty old anchor buried in a sandbank. Shell! Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement! Click on any word if you would like me to read it aloud. The animals were excited. First, they saw the hen sitting on the nest. Then they saw an egg in the nest. Finally, one day, they saw the egg start to move. Nest. Hen. Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. Now let's get out of this cave! Your skills as a linguist are incredible. I hope that this reward helps you achieve your goals. Okay, you found all the gadget pieces. Now you need to assemble the gadget. We've got all of the gadget pieces. Now let's click on that star and get going. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. As soon as you put all the pieces together, click on the go button. If all the pieces are in the correct position, the gadget should start working. Use the arrows to sort through your gadget pieces and blueprint cards. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox. Come on, let's not do it! Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of the toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Maybe I could create an invention to speed up time so that it doesn't seem too long between the clicks. If we wait too long, the solar cells on my electric beam will need to be recharged. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. 
click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox. If we don't use these gadgets soon, they're going to get rusty. Click on the hmm. These gadgets are trickier than I thought. Not to worry. I prepared a plan for this particular problem. Blueprints to these devices are hidden in all the locations you visited. The field agents will hand them over. Maybe I could create an invention to speed up time so that it doesn't seem too long between clicks. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Hurry! My patent rights are running out! Hurry! My patent rights are running out! You've activated the Soapy Shooter! Now click to aim the shooter and clean up Mount Jumpmore! Can you go and see what that is? I see something floating around. I got it, CJ! I'll rush back to headquarters and give it to Frankie and Hops to decipher. You may have won this one, Frog, but without opposable thumbs, you'll never catch me, Pond! <laughs> Great work, Agents! Once again, the wise, noble faces of Mount Jumpmore are watching over us, unblemished by O's disrespectful graffiti! Well, well, well. This is very interesting. I better get this to Hops. Wonderful! Another clue to analyze! Let's see what we come up with! Rocks, rocks, rocks! Ah, uh, where to look? I know! There are rocks on the other side of town, away from Mount Jumpmore! All this analyzing is making my ears turn pink! But I love it! It's as good as done, Frankie! Victory is within our grasp! Big problem, CJ. And this time, it's personal. Your island is sinking into the swamp, and our sources tell us that O is to blame again. Fortunately, Hopslot has devised another brilliant device to fix the problem. You can foil O's plan if you'll get back out there, find the pieces we need to build this gadget, and bring them all back here. Your agents in the field have been very knowledgeable and helpful. With their help, we'll stop O in no time! <laughs>
When all the gadget pieces are assembled correctly, they will activate my newest invention, the Inflatomatic Island Pump. Then, you can reinflate the island before it sinks. I still don't understand why you had to hide the pieces in such dangerous places. No time to quibble. Time is of the essence. Please select another destination and get back to work. Bonjour, mes amis. I am Lucianette, and I bid you welcome to Paris. This city is known for its beauty, culture, and elegance. To visit Paris is to fall in love with Paris. We are preparing for a big exhibit here at the Louvre, and I need to bring several masterpieces up from the basement. In order to earn that gadget piece, I need your help finding the correct paintings. Are you on strike? The world's longest and toughest bicycle race is held in France. King Philippe Auguste built the Louvre at the end of the 12th century. Originally a medieval fortress, it is now a famous Paris museum. In 1783, a Frenchman made the first ascent in a hot air balloon. King Philippe Auguste built the Louvre at the end of the 12th century. Originally a medieval fortress, it is now a famous Paris museum. Charlemagne was crowned Holy Roman Emperor in 808 AD. The empire he created lasted over 1,000 years. Montmartre is a part of Paris that's famous for its street artists. This is where you can really let loose with your creativity. Paint or draw whatever you like, and then when you're finished, we'll hang it in the Louvre! If you make a mistake, click on the eraser to rub it out. Click on the paint can to fill a large area with color. You can print your painting by clicking on the printer. You can also add stickers and different patterns to your work. Click on the mixer to mix any two colors together. Or use the eyedropper to select and paint with a color that you're already using in your picture. When you have finished your masterpiece and want to get back to work earning gadget pieces, click on the exit arrow. have arrived here at a beautiful time of year. Mais Paris is très beau. Help me find all the artwork. There are going to be five sets of pictures that we need to complete. And this is the first one. After we've completed all five sets, Lucy Annette will give us a gadget piece. Let's figure out what kind of painting we need for this first wall and get going to the basement so we can get that gadget piece. I recognize these paintings. They're called still lifes. If we go to the basement now, I'm sure we can find another still life to complete the exhibit. 
Use the arrow keys to help CJ clear a path to the crates that contain the paintings. When he reaches a crate, press the space bar so he can look inside for the correct painting. That is, I see lifelike things in that picture. I see only one color in that picture. I think one day I shall have my picture painted. I've always wanted to have a portrait of myself. There's dirt in the I see life like I see life like things. I see life like things. When we found the correct work of art, use the arrow keys to help CJ push the crate to the exit. You'll have to push the crate along a path that CJ has cleaned with his room. The exhibition is almost ready to open to the public. Now let's see which painting poor CJ has to carry up next. This part of the exhibit is perfect! But we're not finished yet. Let's see what kind of painting we're looking for this time. Aha! Either these artists were running out of paint, or they made a choice to paint with a monochromatic color scheme. I bet if we check the basement, we'll find another painting that would go well with this theme. When we found the correct work of art, use the arrow keys to help dirt is... I see lots of colors in that picture. Dirt! I see lots of colors in that picture. I can see only one color in the... Dirt is blocking the crate. That's it! That's exactly the work we need for the exhibit. But we're not done yet. Go out to the wall to see what we need to find now. This part of the exhibit is perfect! But we're not finished yet. Let's see what kind of painting we're looking for this time. These colorful works are polychromatic. This means we've got to run to the basement and find another polychromatic painting. When we found the correct work of art, Use the arrow keys to help CJ push the... I can see only one color in this picture. I see lots of colors. Dirt. I can see only one color in this picture. It has to be monochromatic. There's dirt in the way. I see lots of colors in that picture. Dirt, dirt is blocking the crate. Oh my goodness, how do they move so quickly? That dust devil just ran you over. There, I, I see lots of colors in that picture. I see lots of color dirt is blocking the crate. These colorful works CJ, you are got polychromatic. To you ran this right means into we've that got to run devil. to the basement and find another polychromatic painting. That's the third room he's dropped. Now CJ's got to get some more so he can try again. Let's go back down to the basement to find the... Use the arrow keys to help CJ... There's dirt in the way of... Dirt. I see lifelike things in that picture. There are only land and building. There are only people in that picture. There's dirt in the way of this crate. Dirt is blocking the crate. That's it. That's exactly the work we need for the exhibit. But we're not done yet. Go out to the wall to see what we need to find now. Magnifique. Hurry now, let's put together the next collection. Aha! Either these artists were running out of paint or they made a choice to paint with a monochromatic color scheme. I bet if we check the basement, we'll find another painting that would go well with this theme. Use the arrow keys to help CJ clear a path to the crates that contain the paintings. I see lots of colors in that picture. I see lots of colors in that picture. I see lots of colors in that picture. I see only one color in that picture. The exhibition is almost ready to open to the public. Now let's see which painting poor CJ has to carry up next. 
This wall has all different types of paintings. You can add your own masterpiece. Let's get to Art Start. Painting helps me clear my head and get in touch with my inner tadpole. I know this gadget piece will be in good hands. To the Amazon jungle. My name is Lucita. I've been waiting for you. There are many fascinating cultures in South America. Click on CJ if you would like to learn more about the people here. Or if you are feeling brave, click on the waterfall to search for a gadget piece. There is a key in one of the fire stations across the river that I need in order to give you the gadget piece you are seeking. Please cross the river and bring me the key. Click on the waterfall to go to the river. Southern night monkeys are most active when the moon is full. Emerald tree boas live high up in trees. Because they are the color of leaves, birds are lured to the branches they wrap themselves around. Parrots are excellent climbers, but not very good walkers because their first and fourth toes are turned backwards. What's the delay, Agent Pond? All his high-tech gadgets won't help him here. He must rely on his trusty legs and your steady guidance to get him across the river to the correct fire station. Read the question and then make CJ hop on the logs and lily pads to get across the river to the hut with the correct answer. When you reach the correct answer, you will be able to continue on. Use the arrow keys up, down, left, and right to move CJ across the river. Which word should be capitalized in the sentence, I like apples? Your navigation of this treacherous river is superb! Which word should be capitalized in the sentence, My dog is funny? Navigation of this treacherous river is superb! Which word should be capitalized in the sentence, Do you like to play? have a little more to go. Which word should be capitalized in the sentence, I like apples? Oh. 
Piranha Shimarana. Keep your foot in CJ, you'll be fine. Oh, boy -o. That answer is correct. Let's get over the next part of the river. Which word should be capitalized in the sentence, Do you like to play? Oh no! CJ, me boy! Are you alright? He made it! I bet he hasn't had a workout like that since prep school. Now, CJ, take the key back to Lucita and get that gadget piece. Thanks for getting the key. I've got your gadget piece right here. Welcome to New Orleans, or as we call it down here, the Big AC. I'm Miss Lucy, and I'm here to show y'all around. You'll enjoy New Orleans much more if you take a look around. Go on now, click on something. But if it's the gadget piece you're after, you're gonna have to help me get ready for Mardi Gras by making some beautiful music first. See, the Creole Critter Band is supposed to play at the gazebo, but that ain't gonna happen until all the missing notes are in place. Now click on the music tent and get going. We've got to help Lucy get ready for Mardi Gras. Click the test button to help Lucy complete the music or make your own music by using the create button. Listen to the song and find the missing notes. The notes will light up, so you need to be quick. Press the space bar to stop on the note you want to select. The note that goes here needs to be played for the correct amount of time. Which one could it be? A spy in need is a spy indeed. Let's help Bluesy get... Oh, I love that tune. Up for another one? Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? What great composing! Let's try another one! How long should the missing note be played? You know, I think there is a lizard mucking up the works. I think we should find a more agreeable note. Boy, it's warm in the south. That was great. I sure am glad I have your help. Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? was great. I sure am glad I have your help. Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? You 
You are such a great musician. Now we can get that gadget piece. That job was kicks for sure. You done well, so here's your piece. Alligators are found near New Orleans in the swamps and marshes of the Mississippi River Delta. Beignet or Creole donuts became popular in Louisiana during the Civil War. Dixieland Jazz was born in New Orleans. People from all over the world come to New Orleans to celebrate Mardi Gras. A bald eagle isn't really bald. It just looks like it because of the white feathers on its head. Back to Red Square Agent Pond. We have cleared off the game board if you are ready to match wit with me again. Can you give us a gadget piece? We do things differently now in Russia. Now you must earn gadget pieces by the sweat of your brow. Play this little game with me. If you win, I will gladly hand over the gadget piece. Tell me about your cover job. The authorities here in Moscow are cooperating with our mission by allowing me to pose as a policewoman. Police officers make sure that people obey the law so that our communities are safe and orderly. Tell me more about mountains in Asia. Asia is the most mountainous continent. Its major mountain range is the Himalayas, which includes Mount Everest, the world's highest peak. Tell me more about the people of Asia. Asia has the largest population and greatest variety of cultures of any continent. Two out of every three people on Earth live in Asia. Tell me more about the Gobi Desert. Unlike most deserts, which are hot all year round, the Asian Gobi Desert has very cold winters. Tell me more about Asian rivers. Major Asian rivers are the Yangtze, the Volga, the Ganges, and the Mekong. This is a brain teaser, but I studied this kind of game in spy school. We should do just fine. I've got a question for you. She is to hers as me is to what? Mine! Yes, hers and mine are both possessive pronouns. Great brain work! Hops a lot. Frankie. Hi. Hops a lot. Okay, Frankie, which card are you looking for? Okay. This card shows pronouns. Do you have a card that shows possessive pronouns? Yes! Thanks! That's a match! <laughs> Click to close. You! Us! You! You! Us! You! Him! You! Him! 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 Us. Him. 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 Victory has sweet flavor, much like the piroshkis of which I have grown so fond. That move came out of nowhere. Still, 
I won't accept defeat. We must keep trying until we win. Vey. 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 Us. Us. Vey. Him. Me. Vey. 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 Him. Us. Me. They. 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 Us. Me. Him. They. Us. Me. Him. Me. Us. They. Us. They. 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 Him. Me. Us. They. Ah, you have returned. I hope you have come to help. Let's go back down to the basement to find the painting that belongs on this wall. Use the arrow keys to help CJ clear a path to the crates that contain the paintings. When he reaches a crate, there are only land and buildings in that picture. I see lifelike things in that picture. I see lifelike things in that picture. Landscapes. All of them is really this is a landscape collection. There must We're looking be for another a landscape, landscape and in the that basement. There's no landscape. Dirt is blocking the crate. That's it. That's exactly the work we need for the exhibit. But we're not done yet. Go out to the wall to see what we need to find now. This part of the exhibit is perfect! But we're not finished yet. Let's see what kind of painting we're looking for this time. These colorful works are polychromatic. This means we've got to run to the basement and find another polychromatic painting. When we found the correct work of art, Use the arrow keys to help. I can see only one color in there. I can see only one. I see lots of colors in that picture. Oh, this collection is coming right along. Let's go back out to the wall to see what kind of painting we've got to find next. This collection is coming along quite nicely. Now let's... Poor CJ only has three... Let's go back down to the basement. When we found the correct work of art, use the arrow keys. Dirt is blocking the crate. I can see only one color in this picture. I see lots of colors in that picture. I see only one color in that picture. That's it. 
That's exactly the work we need for the exhibit. But we're not done yet. Go out to the wall to see what we need to find now. Magnifique! Hurry now, let's put together the next collection. Aha! Either these artists were running out of paint, or they made a choice to paint with a monochromatic color scheme. I bet if we check the basement, we'll find another painting that would go well with this theme. When we found the correct work of art, use the arrow keys to help CJ push it. I see lots of colors in that picture. I see only one color in that picture. Oh, this collection is coming right along. Let's go back out to the wall to see what kind of painting we've got to find next. Wow, that basement was dirty. I'm glad we're off to Art Start. I can't wait to see your masterpiece hung on the wall. Painting helps me clear my head and get in touch with my inner tadpole. Even when the game grew quite difficult, you continue to play and you won. Accept this gadget piece on behalf of the people of France. Vite, vite! The exhibition is starting soon. How do I get a blueprint piece? If you would like to make some art, click the painting to get a start. Tell me about your cover job. The agency got me a cover job working as an art custodian at the Louvre. No one has got on to me yet. Custodians have the job of keeping things neat, clean, and in working order. I'm keeping all of the artwork here in the Louvre looking its best. Tell me more about the languages spoken in Europe. Europe has more than 40 independent countries, and many languages are spoken. Tell me more about the population of Europe. Europe is a crowded continent with the second highest population living on the second smallest continent. Tell me more about Europe's tallest mountains. Europe's tallest mountains are the Alps. They are found in Switzerland and Austria. Tell me more about European rivers. Some of Europe's great rivers are the Danube, the Rhine, the Loire, the Po, the Vistula, and the Neper. The gadget is ready to be assembled. Let's get cracking and clean up that mess. We've got all of the gadget pieces. Now let's... Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. As soon as you put all the pieces together, click on the go button. If all the pieces are in the correct position, the gadget should start working. Use the arrows to sort through your... Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. That's it! The Inflatomatic Island Pump is fired up! Click on the balloons to reinflate the island before it sinks! I think I see something of importance over there. Do you see it? Why, that does look like a piece of paper. I'll get it, CJ. You delight in my little games, do you, frog? Yes. We'll try this next one out for size. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
I'm glad you were able to save your island, CJ. I hope Dr. O has learned that my island is as unsinkable as my belief in justice. Well, well, well. This is very interesting. I better get this to Hops. Wonderful. Another clue to analyze. Let's see what we come up with. I think we should start looking very closely at the train tracks. This clue is a train schedule. I hope I get some more clues. It gives me an excuse to stay up past my bedtime. I don't know if you've heard, but O is at it again. This time, he turned the beautiful waters of Lake Jumpstart into ice cubes. That scoundrel Dr. O! Does he have no shame or decency? This was a sticky problem to solve, but I figured it out. All the gadget pieces are needed in order to switch on the lake liquefier. It melts the ice into normal water, so Lake Jumpstart will be as good as new. You've got to admire his pluck! Hopsalot's new invention will ensure that he doesn't get away with it. But first, the gadget must be assembled. Click on a hotspot and choose your mission. Ah, you've come back. I knew you would. Once you have experienced Africa, you can't stay away. I am sure you want to explore the savannah first, but when you are ready to walk, I have discovered more mysterious writing in the cave. Can you give us a gadget piece? Please click on the mouth of the cave first. After we've figured what the cave writing means, I'll give you the gadget piece. Tell me about your cover job. I have told the locals that I am a librarian, and so far they have let me work in the caves without asking too many questions. Libra Tell me about your cover job. I have told the locals that I am a librarian, and so far they have let me work in the caves without asking too many questions. Librarians are the people who take care of a library and help you with the books in them. Tell me more about the Sahara Desert. Africa's Sahara Desert is the largest desert in the world. Tell me more about how long people have lived in Africa. The first human beings on Earth probably lived in Africa. Tell me more about animals in Africa. Africa has an amazing variety of wildlife, including some of the rarest animals on Earth. Tell me more about the size of Africa. Africa is the second largest continent. Let's see what we have here. Using my decoder, I can easily make out the text. But we need to arrange the stickers on the easel so that they show what happens in the story. Click on the stickers to move them into place on the easel. When you've finished placing all the pieces, click on the Done button. A messenger will take these stories back to headquarters for Frankie to examine for clues. Nobody believes our story. We saw a parrot on the branch of a tree. The parrot said, follow the footprints. We found the footprints under a rock. We followed the footprints and saw a dinosaur in the swamp. Do you believe our story? Dinosaur! We've unlocked the secrets of the cave drawings! The progress meter will tell you it was a busy day in the jungle. Tito the monkey watched the animals go by. First, a rhino walked by. Next, a tiger came through the jungle. Finally, a panda sat down and ate some leaves. Tiger. Panda. We've unlocked the secrets of the cave drawings. <laughs> Julie went diving for seashells. She spotted a pretty spiral shell to the right of a big rock. On the other side of the rock was a nice piece of coral. Julie kept on looking for things to collect. She was surprised to see a rusty old anchor buried in a sandbank. 
chill. Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. Read the story to find out where to place each picture. Click on the... Rob was walking in the woods when he heard a rustling sound. He stopped in his tracks to listen. It was a bear for sure. He hid and watched what the bear would do. It was after a hive full of honey. The bear swatted the hive with his big paws until it came tumbling down. Rustling. Honey. Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. Click on any word if you would like me to read it aloud. There are many kinds of hats. Sometimes people wear hats because of the job they do. The ranger wears a brown hat as he leads us through the forest. The firefighter wears a red hat as she goes to put out a fire. The king wears a gold crown as he sits on his throne. Firefighter! Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement! Now let's get out of this cave! For years, scholars have failed to do what you did today. For that, you more than deserve this gadget piece. them to get enough rest, but those penguins aren't taking care of themselves. We need to build another bridge so I can take care of them. Do you have a gadget piece for me? Believe me, I can understand your rush to get out of here, but it's out of my hands. You need to build a bridge to get to the gadget piece. Tell me about your cover job. The agency has me posing as a doctor. And considering how many sick penguins I've had to treat, it's a good thing I know something about medicine. Doctors are very important because they help people that are sick or hurt get better. Tell me more about the ice cap. Most of the Antarctic is covered by an ice cap that is two miles deep. <sighs> Tell me more about how much ice is here. About 90% of the world's ice is in Antarctica. Tell me more about Tell me more about the nights in Antarctica. It is completely dark for 6 months of the year in Antarctica. Tell me more about Antarctic plants. Lichens and mosses are the only plants that grow in Antarctica. On the blocks of ice and put them in the correct order to build a bridge. Put these words in alphabetical order. While those penguins see the doctor, we still need to rescue two more groups. Put the pictures in order. We're almost there. As soon as we rescue this last batch of sickly penguins, we'll have our gadget piece. Put these Roman numerals in the correct order. Heavy lifting made this successful mission even more satisfying. I hope you can get some satisfaction out of knowing what a difference you've made in these penguins' lives. Ay, 
that was a fine job. I got another gadget piece here that you could win, but I'll need a different key to get that one. Do you think... Do you have a gadget piece for us? That gadget is safely under lock and key, and the key is back at the fire station across the river. You'll have to bring it back for me. Tell us about your cover job. The locals all think that I am a firefighter, and I'd like to keep it that way as long as I stay here. A firefighter's job is very important. Here in the Amazon, I protect the rainforest from being destroyed if there is an accident with a campfire or a lightning strike. The firefighters where you live would also help if there was a fire at your house, or your school, or anywhere else in your neighborhood. Tell me more about the Amazon! The mighty Amazon River carries more water than any other world river. Tell me more about Chile! Chile, the longest and thinnest country in the world, is separated from the rest of South America by the Andes Mountains. Tell me more about the most common language in South America. The most common language spoken in South America is Spanish. Tell me more about the largest country in South America. Brazil is the largest country in South America. He's done his stretching exercises and he's ready to hop. Use the arrow keys to guide him safely across the river to the correct hut. Read the question, and then make CJ hop on the logs and lily pads to get across the river to the hut with the correct answer. When you reach the correct answer, you will be able to continue on. Use the arrow keys up, down, two plus two equals... Four. That answer is correct. Let's get over the next part of the river. Two plus one equals... CJ, get out of the water quick! only have a little more to go. Five plus three equals... Please get him across the river and end this torment! Oh no! CJ, me boy! Are you alright? If you don't do something, CJ might get snapped up by a gator! Eight! That answer is correct! Let's get over the next part of the river. Five plus four equals... Piranha Shimarana! Keep your foot in CJ, you'll be fine! Nine! That answer is correct! Let's get over the next part of the river. Zero plus nine equals... <sighs> I bet this jungle fire station has been home to many heroes. And now that he's got the key, let's get that gadget piece. Thanks for getting the key. I've got your gadget piece right here. There's always something to do in New Orleans. This city is open round the clock, so you can take your time and look around before you get working on that gadget piece.
Do you have a gadget piece for us? You play that piano game first, then I'll get you that gadget piece for sure. Tell me about your cover job. Folks down here think I own a music shop. It's a good cover job because I get to meet all kinds of people. Local shop owners like me provide important things that the community needs. If it weren't for us, where would you buy most of the things you need every day? You'd be inconvenienced now, wouldn't you? Tell me more about the population of North America. North America is one of the most sparsely populated continents. Tell me more about the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is in North America. It was formed over millions of years as the waters of the Colorado River carved through solid rock. Tell me more about the world's largest island. North America includes the world's largest island, Greenland. Tell me more about the Great Lakes. Five Great Lakes contain about one-fifth of world's fresh water. Put the correct notes on the sheet music to finish the song. Use the space bar to stop the music on the missing note. Listen to the song and find the missing notes. The notes will light up, so you need to be quick. Press the space bar to stop on the note you want to select. Which of the notes in the bin is played for the correct length of time? What great composing! Let's try another one! Can you find the note that is held long enough? We almost have that gadget piece! Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? We almost have that gadget piece! Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? What wonderful music to my ears! Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? You have such finely tuned ears! I wish I had ears! I'm just glad we can get that gadget piece. You hotter than a bowl of gumbo! Here's that piece you've been looking for. Let's get that quick. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox, and then put them together to get the gadget to work. As soon as you've put all the pieces together, click on the... Use the arrows to sort through your gadget pieces and blueprint cards. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox, and then put them together to get the gadget. Great! The lake liquefier is running hot again. Click on the ice to make Lake Jumpstart as good as new. Do you see that way over there? I see it. I'll be back in a jiffy. Drat! Spy school has served you well, CJ. But not well enough. All your gadgets and gizmos will be no match for my next little project. See you in slime time, frog!
Another job well done. That certainly was a mess, but the waters of Lake Jumpstart are once again pristine and clear. Oh my, well, I find this very interesting. I'll have to get back to you on this clue. Aha, uh -huh, a clue. Let me have a look. This clue has interesting marks on it. Maybe this leaf comes from the Tree of Knowledge. Nah, he couldn't be there. It's too closely watched. All this analyzing is making my ears turn pink. But I love it! It seems that a secret agent's work is never done. O has pulled off another job. This time he's managed to fill the schoolhouse with wriggly worms. Hops has been his usual inventive self, but now you must gather his gadget pieces. As long as we have the assistance of such dependable native agents in each country, I'm confident we can get the job done! Another difficult problem I was able to solve with the brilliant invention? The gadget pieces are needed to give power to this amazing worm vacuum. It'll safely suck up the worms so we can put them outside in the garden where they belong. A quick suggestion. Perhaps the gadget pieces could all be kept in headquarters in the future. Surely that would cut down on travel expenses. Hello, oh, Anderson. You're so droll. Anyway, which country will you be visiting first? Welcome back to the Outback, gents. Some more Miley's going walkabout. I'll give you another gadget piece if you can find it. Can you give us a gadget piece? I'm sorry, but my instructions are to make you help me find my lost mail before I can give you a gadget piece. Tell me about your cover job. I've secured a cover job delivering mail here in the Outback. I've got quite a long route, but it beats the other job they've offered me. Wrestling crocodiles on TV. If it weren't for posties, people wouldn't be able to send letters or packages to each other. Tell me more about the Great Barrier Reef. The world's largest living thing, the Great Barrier Reef, lies off the coast of Australia. Tell me more about the islands of Australia. This continent of Australia is made up of islands spread over a huge area on the South Pacific. The country of Australia is the largest island of this continent. Tell me more about the deserts of Australia. There are four major deserts in Australia, covering most of the island. Tell me more about animals in Australia. Australia is quite isolated from the rest of the world. There are kinds of animals to see here that can't be found anywhere else in the world. I studied stunt driving back in spy school. Still, it can be tough knowing which fuel cans to use. I can use all the help I can get. Aim the... Do they drive on the right or the left side of the road here? Fill her up! Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the odd numbers up to 10. Fill her up! Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the We're odd really numbers moving. up to 10. Peel out! Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the even numbers up to 10. 10! We're burning rubber! Do they 
they drive on the right? We're really moving! We're in high gear! Drive on the right or the left side of the road here. Peel out. Yes. Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the even numbers up to ten. We're on our way! Aim the car toward the fuel cap with even numbers up to 10. Fill her up! Fill her up! I just hope we get there before the post office closes! Got it! Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the odd numbers up to 10. Speed bump! Two! Two! Hi! Me again with something to show you! Hmm... I've got a question for you! Which of these numbers is an odd number? Seventeen! Yes! Here's an easy way to figure that out! Even numbers always end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Great brain work! We're really moving! We're burning rubber! These outback roads are tough on tires! We're in high gear! the stuff? Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the odd numbers below 50. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. That's the stuff? We're on our way! These outback roads are tough on tires. Peel out. Yes. Aim the car toward the fuel cans with the odd we numbers found the below lost 50. Mail. Let's grab it and head back to Brucey so we can get a gadget piece. 
pit with some excellent driving. Here's your gadget piece. Let me know when I can be of further assistance. Welcome back to Red Square Agent Pond. We have cleared off the game board if you are ready to match wit with me again. How do you say hello in Russian? Privyet. That is how you say hi in Russian. How do you say goodbye in Russian? Do svidania. That is how you say goodbye in Russian. How do you say thank you in Russian? Spasibo. That is how you say thank you in Russian. How do you say, what is your name in Russian? That is how you say, what is your name in Russian? Minya. This is a brain teaser, but I studied this kind of game in spy school. We should do just fine. Close. Hi, me again with something to show you. Hmm, I've got a question for you. Which word comes next? Jump, jumped. Drum, drummed. Dig, digged. Gotcha! Some verbs don't have ed on the end when you make them past tense, like dug, ate, or taught. Thanks for playing! Close. Teach. Teach. Make. Teach. 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 Make. Teach. Victory has sweet flavor, much like the piroshkis of which I have grown so fond. Lucianova is indeed quite cunning and intelligent. We'll have to play again, but this time we'll know what we're up against. Hello, I hope you have come to help me move some more paintings. Of course, since this is Paris, I'm sure you will want to explore a bit first. How do you say hello in French? Bonjour, that is how to say hello in French. How do you say goodbye in French? Au revoir, that is how to say goodbye in French. How do you say thank you in French? Merci, that is how to say thank you in French. How do you say what is your name in French? Comment t'appelles-tu? That is how to say what is your name in French. Je m'appelle Lucianette. Let's go back down to the basement to find the painting that belongs on this Use the arrow keys to help. I see only one color in that picture. I can see only one color in this picture. It, oh my goodness, how do they move so quickly? That dust devil just ran. I see lots of colors in that picture. That's it! 
That's exactly the work we need for the exhibit. But we're not done yet. Go out to the wall to see what we need to find now. This part of the exhibit is perfect. But we're not finished yet. Let's see what kind of painting we're looking for this time. What lovely landscapes. All of them. Poor CJ only has three brooms to help him. I think one day I shall have my picture. There are only land and buildings in that picture. I see lifelike things in that picture. Oh no, CJ. That pesky dust devil gotcha. We're looking for a landscape. And that is no landscape. I've got a question for you. Land is to landscape, a city is to what? Cityscape! That's right. Now try this one. Objects are to still life, as person is to what? Portrait! Thanks for playing! That's the third broom he's dropped. Now CJ's got to get some more so he can try again. Let's go back down to the basement to find the painting that belongs on this wall. Click on the empty frame after we figure out what kind of painting we need. I Use the arrow keys to help CJ clear a path to the crates that contain the paint. There are only people in that picture. There are only people in the picture. I see lifelike things in that picture. There's dirt in the way of this crate. There's dirt in the way of this crate. Oh, this collection is coming right along. Let's go back out to the wall to see what kind of painting we've got to find next. Magnifique. Hurry now, let's put together the next collection. I recognize these paintings. They're called still lifes. If we go to the basement now, I'm sure we can find another still life to complete the... Use the arrow keys to help see... I see only one color in that picture. I see life like... I can see only one color in this picture. It has to be monochromatic. The exhibition is almost ready to open to the public. Now let's see which painting poor CJ has to carry up next. This collection is coming along quite nicely. Now let's see what kind of painting we need to find next. I recognize these paintings. They're called still life. Use the arrow keys to help CJ clear. I see lots of dirt. I think one day I shall have my picture painted. I see lifelike things. Dirt is blocking the crate. That's it. That's exactly the work we need for the exhibit. But we're not done yet. Go out to the wall to see what we need to find now. We just need your masterpiece to complete this collection. The Art Start Wing is just the place for you to start creating. I guess being in the Louvre has inspired you to be creative. You are true art connoisseurs. I know this gadget piece will be in good hands. Karabu Rafiki, like the wildebeest in his annual migration, so you have returned to me. Shall we translate some more cave writing? How do you say hello in Swahili? Jumbo, that is how you say hello in Swahili. How do you say goodbye in Swahili? Kwahere, that is how you say goodbye in Swahili. How do you say thank you in Swahili? Asante. That is how you say thank you in Swahili. How do you say what is your name in Swahili? Jinala Konani. That is how you ask what is your name in Swahili. Let's see what we have here. Using my decoder, I can easily make out the text. But we need to arrange the stickers on the easel so that they show what happens in the story. Click on the stickers to move them into place on the easel. 
when you've finished play- This is how to enter the castle. Under a tree, you will find a sword in a stone. Take the sword. Next, cross the bridge that goes over the river. You will see a castle on the hill. Show them the sword and they will let you in. Sword. Sword. Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. The Jill couldn't believe it. She was finally at the circus. She had just taken her seat when the clowns came in riding bicycles. Next came the elephants, plodding along trunk to tail. But best of all were the high wire acrobats. Jill got a thrill watching them fly through the air. Clowns, acrobats, Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement. Julie went diving for seashells. She spotted a pretty spiral shell to the right of a big rock. On the other side, Julie went diving for seashells. She spotted a pretty spiral shell to the right of a big rock. On the other side of the rock, Julie went diving for seashells. She spotted a pretty spiral shell to the right of a big rock. On the other side of the rock was a nice piece of coral. Julie kept on looking for things to collect. She was surprised to see a rusty old anchor buried in a sandbank. Shell! We've unlocked the secrets of the cave drawings! Read the story to find out where to place each picture. Click on the picture, drag it to the easel, and then click again to place it. Rhino! Tiger! Eureka! That's exactly the correct placement! Click on any word if you would like me to read it aloud. Castle! We've unlocked the secrets of the cave drawings! Let's go and form our contact! For years, scholars have... A recent cold snap left the poor penguins feeling sicker than ever. Please help me get them from the iceberg to my office so I can treat them. How do you say hello in Antarctica? Waving in Antarctica is the universal way to say hello. In Antarctica, visitors speak many different languages. How do you say goodbye in Antarctica? Antarctica has no native people or population, so there's no language for the continent. Visitors usually speak in their own languages. How do you say thank you in Antarctica? In Antarctica, all the visitors say thank you in their own language. How do you say what is your name in Antarctica? Here in Antarctica, you would need to know more than one language to ask someone's name, because people that visit here speak different languages. on the blocks of ice and put them in the correct order to build. put the objects in order from smallest to biggest. While those penguins see the doctor, we still need to rescue two more groups. Put these Roman numerals in the correct order. We're almost there. As soon as we rescue this last batch of sickly penguins, we'll have our gadget piece. Put these Roman numerals in the correct order. lifting made this successful mission even more satisfying. I'm so happy. Now 
Let's get to that disaster area so we can get that gadget working. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. As soon as you put all the pieces together, click on the go. Use the arrows to sort through your gadget pieces and blueprint cards. Click on the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gap. If we don't use these gadgets soon, they're going to get rusty. The worm vacuum is fired up! Click on the worm so we can put them outside in the garden where they belong. I keep seeing something floating around, Edison. Do you see that? Boyo, there seems to be a scrap of paper out there. I'll go get it. No! I will not be outdone by a half-baked spy frog and his insectile friend! This last challenge will separate the snails from the toads! Say goodbye, pond! <laughs> The school superintendent tells me that the classroom is spotless. Well, the worms have gone back to the garden, where they belong. Hmm, a clue. I will have to study this for a while to see what it means. Clues, clues, clues. Today is a great day for clues. This clue has interesting marks on it. Maybe this leaf comes from the tree of knowledge. Nah. He couldn't be there. It's too closely watched. I hope I get some more clues. It gives me an excuse to stay up past my bedtime. Quick, agents. I've just been informed that O is cornered. Now, if we act quickly, we can capture him in his snail's lair. Going on what our sources have gathered, Hops has drawn up a plan for an ingenious trap. But you must gather all the pieces and fast. Don't apologize, Chief. Edison and I knew what we were getting into when we joined the agency. As devious as Dr. O may be, I figured that a simple cage might work best to capture him. Take all the gadget pieces to his lair, and as soon as they are assembled, use them to knock my snail trap cage onto him. He won't be able to escape us then. I don't understand why hops couldn't have designed gadgets whose pieces can be found in quiet places, like golf courses or petting zoos. Oh, Edison, you and your jokes. Now, get out there, you two, and let's get those pieces. That was a fine job. I got another gadget piece here that you could win, but I'll need a different key to get that one. Do you think you can handle another river crossing? How do you say hello in Spanish? Hola. That is how to say hello in Spanish. How do you say goodbye in Spanish? Ciao. How do you say thank you in Spanish? Gracias. How do you say what is your name in Spanish? Como se llama? All his high-tech gadgets won't help him here. He must rely on his trusty legs and your steady guidance to get him across the river to the correct fire station. Read the question and then make 21 minus 18 equals... Three. You are great! We only have a little more to go. 70 minus 67 equals... 3. That answer is correct. Let's get over the next part of the river. 30 
20 minus 26 equals... have a little more to go. 70 minus 69 equals... Piranha Shimarana! Keep your foot in CJ, you'll be fine! Piranha Shimarana! One! You are great! We only have a little more to go! 21 minus 19 equals... He hasn't had a workout like that since prep school. Now, CJ, take the key back to Lucita and get that gadget piece. You made it. I was worried the current... Quick, agents. I've just been informed that O is cornered. Now, if we act quickly, we can capture him in his snail's lair. Going on what our sources have gathered, Hops has drawn up a plan for an ingenious trap. But you must gather all the pieces and fast. Don't apologize, Chief. Edison and I knew what we were getting into when we joined the agency. As devious as Dr. O may be, I figured that a simple cage might work best. I don't under... Oh, Edison, you and your jokes. Now, get out there, you two, and let's get those pieces. You don't have to leave right away. Some of the very first Americans spoke languages such as Navajo, though today most Americans speak English. Can you tell us how to say hello in Navajo? Yatahe. Today, most Americans speak English, but the first Americans spoke other languages, like Navajo. Miss Lucy, can you tell us how to say goodbye in Navajo? Hukunetta. English is the most common language in the USA. But some of the first Americans spoke Navajo. Can you say thank you in Navajo, Miss Lucy? Ahit. Navajo was one of the first languages spoken in North America. Miss Lucy, can you tell us how to say what is your name in Navajo? Hasa Nela E. We didn't study music composition in spy school, but we'll have to do our best. After all, Dr. O is counting on us to fail. Listen to the song and find the missing notes. The notes will light up, so you need to be quick. Press the space bar to stop on the note you want to select. Can you find the note that is held long enough? You know... I think there is a lizard mucking up the works. I think we should find a more agreeable note. We almost have that gadget piece. How long should the missing note be played? We almost have that gadget piece. 
Which of the notes in the bin is played for the correct length of time? I think we need to find a note that appreciates our music. What wonderful music to my ears! Are we looking for a long note or a short note to go here? What great composing! Let's try another one! Which of the notes in the bin is played for the correct length of time? A spy in need is... Oh! I think we need to find a note that appreciates our music. Wow! It is true! Music does calm the savage beast. And the gadget piece is ours! You hotter than a bowl of gumbo. He's that piece. Right. How do you say hello in Australia? G'day, mate. That's how Australians say hello. How do you say goodbye in Australia? G'day, mate. How do you say thank you in Australia? Thank you, mate. How do you say what is your name in Australia? Get a name, mate. I studied stunt driving back in spy school. Still, it can be tough knowing which fuel cans to use. I can use all the help I can get. Steer the car over adverbs. Words that describe verbs, adjectives, or adverbs. We're on our way! Yes! Yes! Whoa! are over the nouns that are plural. We're really moving! Trucks! Whoa! Got it! Peel out! These outback roads are tough on tires. We're in high gear. That's the stuff. Steer the car over verbs in the past tense. Look out!
Do they drive on the right or the left? Got it! Yes, give it the gas! These outback roads are tough on tires! Yes! Steer the car over backwards! Words that just break. Uh oh, wrong way. Got it. We're burning rubber. Watch it! Hmm, I've got a question for you. Run as to quickly as walk is to slowly. Right, here's a little clue. Words ending in L-Y are usually adverbs. They describe verbs. Thanks for playing! Do they drive on the right or the left side of the road here? Look out! We're in high gear! Heal out! Steer the car over verbs in the past tense. We're really moving! We're in high gear! the stuff? Drat! We're burning rubber! We did it! We found the lost mail! Now let's go get that gadget piece! Excellent work, Paul. Now get... I've heard that there are other... Click on the blocks of ice and put the pictures in order. While those penguins see the doctor, we still need to rescue two more groups. Put the objects in. We're almost there. As soon as we rescue this last batch of sickly penguins, we'll have our gadget piece. Put these Roman numerals in the correct order. Heavy lifting made this successful mission even more satisfying!
The penguins are so much perkier now that they've had their medicine. Please think of them when you use this reward. Putting all of these clues together, let's start looking near the train tracks, but not too close to the Tree of Knowledge. The observatory clue was very exciting and gives us a lot of information, but the rocks are very close to the art museum. I think that's our clincher. After putting all these clues together, we have a choice of Mount Jumpmore, Toddler Town, or the hills near the art museum. One of these is where Dr. O is hiding out. You need to make your choice. Click on the one that you think it is. You found Dr. O's hideout. That's great. Now let's get that gadget working. We need to put this guy out of commission. the gadget pieces to drag them out of my toolbox and then put them together to get the gadget to work. As soon as you put all the pieces together, click on the go button. If all the pieces are in the correct position, the gadget should start working. Use the arrows to sort through your gadget pieces and blueprint cards. We're going to get... You got him! Great job! Dr. O should have known better than to tangle with the likes of you! Another end to another successful mission, CJ. Now that O is safely locked away, I'd like you to meet Lucy, our multi-talented agent in the field. Hello again. <laughs> Her? <laughs> I knew it! Lucy, is it? Very nice to meet you. I hope you're planning to stay a while, Lucy. I've just had the most astonishing adventures, and I'd love to tell you about them over dinner. <laughs> Edison, can you help me with this? <laughs> just you try to catch me, Jumps! <gasps> Egads! That dastardly Dr. O has struck again! I'd better get to Spy HQ right away! Well, hello, CJ. I'm glad we were able to track you down. There's been a spot of trouble in... Are you sure you want to quit? Click Yes to leave the game. Click No to go back to the game. See you later! Clocking out, Dr. O? Yes, it's been another long day of scheming and plotting. Time for a villain to toss off his monocle and put up his tail. See you tomorrow, Lucy. Thank you.